Unlocking the Chill of Ski Season, A Journey Through Words. Hello, wonderful learners. Today, we're going to glide through the crisp, frosty air of a very seasonal phrase, ski season. Whether you're a fan of snowflakes or just cozying up with a hot cocoa, understanding this term will transport you to the wintry wonderlands where it's most at home. So, let's buckle up our boots and hit the linguistic slopes. At its core, the phrase, ski season, refers to the part of the year when it is prime time to go skiing. This is when ski resorts are bustling, and the mountains are blanketed in just the right amount of snow. But it's not just about snow. Ski season also taps into a culture of winter sports, mountain life, and holiday making. It's a time of year eagerly anticipated by enthusiasts and economies alike, for both the thrill and the business it brings. The ski season varies depending on the geographical location. In the Northern Hemisphere, it typically runs from late November to early April, while in the Southern Hemisphere, it's usually from June to October. But remember, it's not just the calendar that decides, it's the weather. Resorts open their doors when the snow is sufficient, making the season a little unpredictable at times. Beyond just a time for sports, ski season carries a certain cultural weight. It's associated with holidays, especially Christmas and New Year, and often symbolizes a time of joy, family gatherings, and even luxury travel. The term can evoke images of alpine chalets, festive markets, and the high-spirited opera ski social scenes. When using the term, ski season, it's important to understand the context. You might say, I can't wait for the ski season to start, to express anticipation, or we're booking our trip for the peak of ski season to indicate planning a holiday during the busiest time. It's a versatile phrase that goes beyond the slopes. It's about the time, the activities, and the atmosphere. I hope this video has helped you cozy up to the term, ski season, and all the frosty fun it implies. Remember, learning a language is like skiing. Sometimes you might slip, but it's all about getting back up and enjoying the ride. Stay warm, keep learning, and I'll see you in our next adventure through English.